few weeks ago, we started a series talking about people who have been to T.B. Joshua's church, the synagogue, and have confessions to make about their awkward experiences, what they saw, what they, I mean, and then a lot of people have interests, uh, so it appears. After then, I told you that many people have also uh, showed interest to speak out. Most of them say they don't want to be seen, but that they have uh, confirmations to make about most of the allegations made by uh, Mrs. Bisola. I have yet another person here today who doesn't necessarily want to uh, rock the boat, but who says, well, he wants to volunteer confirmation of some of the allegations made by uh, Bisola. Because what we are looking for here is truth. We just want to know what is true, what is false. Well, uh, let's flow with him and see how far we can go with this, uh, digging this information. Uh, would you mind telling us your name? Or maybe just turn any... Yeah, my name is Mr. Clatus. Yeah, from Delta States. All right. So, uh, what role did you play while you were there at uh, Synagogue Church? Yeah, uh, I was a security there. I started from other departments, but like I ended up as a security in the church. How did you get to Synagogue? I started there 2001. 2001, and. Um, Anyways, l let's just dig it straight. Um, you saw one video online that uh, Mrs. Bisola Johnson was making allegation that she was victim of sexual harassment by Prophet T.B. Joshua. Do you know Bisola Johnson before she left and before you left? Yeah, I know Bisola. What can you say about her? People say she is mad. Let me just say, the pastor you know on camera is different from the pastor you know on... It's different from the pastor you know on camera is different from the person you know after outside camera. Outside camera is a different person. So that means you have been close to T.B. Joshua also, for you to be able to say this? Yes, I'm, I've been very close to him. At least I have opportunity to enter his office without nobody stopping me. Hmm. So while you were there as security, uh, what areas did you cover? I, cover? I even cover his prayer mountain too, where he prays. Not a mountain, it's just like it's all somewhere that they it's like a forest that they put sand and everything is just there. That's it. Okay, there are some things that uh, Bisola said. Did you see the video of the church uh, saying that Bisola is mad and uh, she confessed and they healed? Her? That video has been long. Before that video you are seeing is 90s. Look, everybody should look at the quality of that video. That video you are talking about, you are talking about 96, 97. You understand? And Bisola started confessing. Bisola started saying things about him from 2008 to 9. I don't. I can't really say about that one. She confessed inside the church, but there was one they were doing disciple meeting that she confessed. There was even one that they showed that she was putting on a nightgown. It's a disciple meeting. They used to have that disciple meeting at the dining of where those white people normally eat their food, at the dining. So it's a disciple. Lost like they say, okay, beg, confession, and you confess it and you put the video everywhere. Uh, this is what the girl have done. I told you I have my father. I brought my father for prayer line. I, I, I flew him down and I brought him. When I brought him for prayer line, I know what I saw. I know the things I saw. Such as? Uh, you know, they will be the one to tell you to cry. That tell the man of God, uh, man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. My mother is, cannot work. My father cannot work. Help me. You know that kind of thing. man of God is coming. Those are the work of Bisola. Those are the work of Bisola. So... So was that why you hated Bisola then? No, we, I hated Bisola because of his what is the impression. You are, you, so it's a man of God you respect. And somebody is speaking again. But at the time, I now understand that. Why not just sit down and watch that video? Because every allegation Bisola made was true. Except the one, the one he said the pastor slept with her. Everything she said that I watched in that video was true. And it happened. So you mean it is not true that the pastor harassed any girl in church? No. I can't say it's not true because they were so close to the pastor and his wife. These girls you are seeing are very close. Tim Dusha does not stay in his his wife does not stay with him in the same room. His wife stays in there's he stays in a place called Five Story. Any any disciple there knows what I'm talking about. They, they call that place Five Story. That's where he stays. So, but every other thing Bisola said is true, such as maybe, how about the miracles? Are they arranged or true or false? Okay, let me talk about that miracle. You see, as a security then, 
you would not see that when they bring cripple person, like different kind of cripple person. I don't, there's a particular cripple they used to look for. Maybe the cripple that can walk, that have difficulty in walking. Anybody should go and try this thing. If you have any cripple person that you know that his leg is torn or something, they should take that person there. If the person gets healed, you should believe. You understand? It's those cripple that you I can still manage to walk. Still manage to walk. So when they pray for them, definitely they will still manage to walk. So it will look as if you could not walk at all before. No, okay, top. That's what normally happens. And once, once the re people people come, they will call us security area, discharge them. There's somebody call a lot light on. Huh? You say discharge them. You know, I I, I joined security when Bisola left. That was when I joined security. But I know Bisola as a member. When I was a member. You were a member, you knew Bisola. I know Bisola. But when I became security, Bisola have left that time. I also heard about uh some people praying on people's uh photos and that is maybe that's why you're also scared of showing your face <laughs> yeah 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 because of there's something that they normally do the prayer warriors i can mention their name number one there's one called sam four they've he, i heard he has left there's one called ik he's not a pastor there are many there's one called mufu there's one called akewi those are the people they, there are many of them so they they will take your picture when they take your picture they will take you to the prayer mountain and they will start praying they say they say it's prayer mountain i can't i can't now the mood i am now is that i don't believe that people there's god like there's any man of god there's anywhere don't no, there's no man of god anywhere because all those things you see is different well, what you see on tv is different from what you see forget that thing you are they're are telling you that sorry what do those prayer warriors do they will carry your picture and be they will say they are praying on it they'll be praying on your picture let me let me say prayer Sha. that's what they, they normally do Everybody picture have been there. Are they praying oh, to so many prayer when I told me that Bisola picture was also there? That you were praying on Bisola's Bisola's picture. So one prayer warrior. So not prayer when one one worker there, disciple told me that us. But when they take your uh, people's prayer uh, photo there, is it to pray for the person to get healing? Or when they take your photo to somewhere that offend. Why would they take Bisola there? Okay, it is picture of people that offend that they normally pray on. Most times, like there was a boxer. There's a guy fighting boxing that I met. Uh, because the guy gave a testimony in the church about him getting, winning the fight because of the, using the anointing water. So when I called the guy personally as a security, you know he would be afraid of you. I said, guy, is it, how did you use the anointing water that you work? Do you know what the guy told me? The guy said he actually sent the picture. But in the testimony, you will not hear that part. Mm. He sent the picture of the guy he wanted to fight to the pastor. He called him and he said, and the brother brought the picture. So that was when he won the fight. But when you see the testimony, the testimony is that when you finish using the anointing water, he won the fight. So that means anybody they take their pictures there, it is to defeat the person. <laughs> defeat the person. That's, that's, that's <laughs> see my picture. This is my real face too. Anyways, let's continue to other. You have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. Don't worry about me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> So what are other things you can confirm from Bisola's statement so far? I don't think there's anything I can dispute, except when she said, let me tell you something. Bisola was very close to the pastor than his, like his wife. When I mean is very, Bisola can go to his room without any anybody, taking permission from anybody. If people should understand the fact. Bisola was very close. And the person that, the person that seems closer to him now is Yinka. Yinka, that is very close to him now. Yinka, male or female? She's a female. The men, I know, I don't think I can. There's one camera guy called Benga. I don't think there's anybody close to him again, except females. And those are the females that they will even commit an offense. You will be surprised that the same offense you will commit, they will, they will, the way they will even pursue you without even giving you one error. They will make sure they collect any money you have so that you go outside broke. That's how it, that's how it be. That place is another kind of... How, how do you, sorry, I heard that some people get discharged, some people get... How do you discharge people? You know, let me tell you, when they bring you as a cripple, not even cripple, there, there's even a lady I had that experience, the lady had HIV and she was blind. I don't know what, whether the HIV made her blind or something. So the lady, the, uh, that's why I want to even say this, because many people have seen me as a very bad person. They were even praying I should go because... Those workers, are, those people that are here thinking I, I'm not the one, I'm the one I don't want them to see. 
their miracle. But knowing, knowing that there's a disciple that will tell you that they should, they should discharge them. And I know some, somebody that I've got in here that I've done his testimony that came back and said so, 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 something happened. And they said I should pursue that person. Who gives these instructions to discharge people? Sometimes it comes from the pastor of the church. Who is the pastor? Stevie Joshua. Once he come, what happened is that the you anybody should if anybody want to I know that in this Nigeria there's nobody that will not have anybody that has that has, has one sickness or the other. The person should go for prayer line and see if I'm lying. I know I took my father there, but my father was getting healed. My father was even working already before I took him there. But he said that I've already read this time for the prayer already. Let me explain to you. I've read this time for the prayer. So when they said I should come back on Sunday, he was already working. He was having back pain. But the way the thing looked like, like it looked as if my father could not walk out. He was having... It took you to understand the thing. So they should not... Those, I'm not. Let me see if I can get you correctly. You were already treating your father. Yes. He has already been treated. Okay. He has already been retreated already. But we took him there for prayers. But in their place, when you go for a problem, it's them that will even tell you what you write on the placard. Mm. You understand? If you have leg, maybe leg injury, you might put leg as cancer. So in your mind now, you think the person have leg cancer. I think you understand. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. You now say they heal the person of cancer. That's what they normally do there. Aside from the things that Bisola mentioned, are there things she might not remember to mention that you also can share? No, there are so many things. I, if I tell you, I, I don't believe Bisola will be alive to today. Why? And because our mindset as a member then, that one day, one day, Bisola will actually come back to confess or we hear that she's dead. Even I heard that rumor that she's dead one time, self. I have not seen Bisola to today. I've not seen her. I've not. She. I don't know how she look, and she does not know how I look. But I just want to clear the fact is that so many things Bisola said are actually true. The only one she's. I. I can't follow them to the bedroom. But I've been there. Somebody. Somebody. A pastor called Dave. They call him Junior Prophet. Called Dave, and his wife called Angie from South Africa. They called them, and those people in, pre- in my presence, they were accusing the pastor of the church of sleeping with Angela. Not Angela. Uh, Angel, the guy is from South Africa. He's married to Dave. Dave's brother now is the past, is, is, is younger brother now is a junior prophet there now called Chris. That's Dave's brother. He's called David or Dave. I don't know. He was in my presence. He was asking, accusing Tib Dosha. His wife was... The wife opened up to the husband that he slept with TV Joshua. So when you when but when anytime you anytime somebody make that accusation in presence of the child, they will tell you that that person has mental problem. So that's it. So Dave's wife alleged that the prophet slept with her. I there was a there was one Saturday morning. I saw Dave and the police officer drove into the church. The old disciple, I can measure their name, Moreneke, the Yinka, one guy called Jacob that I shot. All of them went to um, all of them went to, to come outside to meet Dave. When they come outside to meet Dave, they were do, they were just begging the guy, begging him. Why are they begging him? I don't know why they are begging him. So when they were begging him, begging him, begging him, begging him, begging him, begging him, begging him. Later, I just discovered that um he so later, I just, I, I just noticed that the wife came down and asked this husband, nobody should touch his her husband, that Dave, don't allow them to touch you. So later, the, the wife just started shouting that this is a white lady, not a black person. Uh-huh. So that we know black, uh-huh. because maybe Bisola, everybody, the white lady. Go and look at Tibdo Shaodo's video. She's, the lady I'm talking about is the first white that has called this star. It's the first choir that was white. The first choir that was white later became a prophet. And it was she was married to Dave. So she was the one accusing T B Joshua of sleeping with her in presence of the do what I noticed that those disciples did all of them were now begging that she should not talk. They were begging that she should not shout, that she should take it, that she should not shout. If she has mental problem, will you ask her not to shout or you just tie her down? They were begging Dave to meet her. T B Joshua wants to have a dialogue with him. Dave said no, he won't have any dialogue with him because he knows. Uh, the allegation might be true. No, his wife told him, and they came to 
they came to they want him to come outside outside the church let them have the dialogue outside the church but you they he wanted Joshua wanted them to come in. come in so he wanted to take them to the presidential you know when they tell you presidential now you you expect that it's a vip treatment the guy saying no even want the presidential self how did they resolve it the guy left i don't know how they, the disciples begged him they no they didn't, he didn't even, they, they were begging him to enter the guy said he won't enter the guy said let him come down and meet him so that they will discuss it the guy said the uh, is um what was the accusation was that they, they say he slept with the girl and the girl is dave's wife that's what i want to establish this Dave's wife dave 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 i forget their name i forget their son name now those miracles you people see are not uh, what you think you understand those people still go and treat themselves they still go and treat themselves don't allow anybody to see that a cripple came and started working you understand so many people do you know one woman called uh, i i try to reach out to her but i learned that they have gone to <laughs> to see to cement crack we are uh, uh, one woman that's like a nurse very close to tb joshua yeah i think i know i call mrs igodu yes I think she's still there. Oh. Yeah. I think she's still there. I think I've I've cited her one time. I went there, I went there five years ago. I learned that she was one. She once had issue and wanted to speak out, but they later reconciled with her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. She's there. She's one of those are people that are doing so many dirty jobs that you can't speak outside. I know that once people come with HIV, if you bring your medical report, they will insist that if there's a particular house, they will say you should go to Yaba. To go and do that report, they will they will ask us to discharge them. <laughs> you understand? There's they don't receive medical report from any other places. If you even bring it, there's one place opposite synagogue then that they do history. If you go there, they will tell you that you should not do it there. Mm. I want to I want to use the opportunity to maybe apologize to be like that. If there's any way, it, me I personally even condemned that she was lying. She was not saying the truth. But I want to confirm it today that so many things she said actually true and it happened. But I don't know. Early I will still say it. I don't know the one of him sleeping with Bisola. But they were very close. They were very very close. So nobody should discredit her. Nobody. They were very close. I don't. So you are confirming? No, the Bisola I saw was not mad. She speaks no, coherently. No, they, you are confirming she's not mad. She's not mad. She's okay. She's fair. If she's mad, would they make her the head? Would they make her to be attending to foreign visitors? She was the one welcoming foreign visitors at the at that, at that time. I think for now we can leave it here until you are willing to show your face again. <laughs> well, I will show my face, but it's not that I don't want somebody. People start calling me, asking me that. Uh, why did I do this? What the man of God have done so many things for you. What have the man of God done for me? Apart from when I work, I collect my salary. There's nothing the man of God has done for me anytime. Apart from when I work and collect salary. So nobody should get it wrong. But I will tell you that it's helping you spiritually. Fine. If it's just helping me spiritually, fine. But I don't I don't think there are there are so many things that it even they even send some people to redeem church. This redeem some people go there to carry cam- some a sense on spy there, which I'm aware of. I can mention one. Mm. No, let me don't mention the guy's name. I don't want to implicate him. Is the guy still there? The guy is not there again, so I don't want to implicate him. They will go. Even Shino, Shino used to follow there. There's one person called Shino. He's still there. They will go together. You no, know, the church have so many vehicles, but they will not use the one that has any. You know, any sign of the church on it. Uh, I think they will even hire Taisi. They will hire any. They will hire vehicle for us. And I will be thinking, ah. Okay. Let me let's let's make this very clear. T B Joshua would send people to go to redemption camp. Redemption camp. There's no program any church is doing that it does not have a spy there. I mean, big program that it does not have a spy there. T B Joshua sends spies to other churches. When you hear it, it will tell you that you are doing spy for God. They are smiling for God. So, they are, they are working for God. <laughs> Spy for Christ. <laughs> Everybody. 
everything I want to see, say everything Bisola said happened. She was very close to TB Joshua. Mm-hmm. And the issue of miracle that he said, as he said, is the truth. I'm a security. I don't think after, I don't think members, members you see there, they don't know what is going on inside. That's why you, you, you they not born any disciple where to talk to any member more than five minutes. They will go and report you that you are discussing with member. I don't know why they're always afraid to have conversation with member. Maybe any member, even your father come and check you there, you must not stay long with him. <laughs> you understand? You must not stay long with him. And there are so many things that is going on there. But I will tell you that they've act- it's not Bisola is not the only person accusing him of sleeping with him. <laughs> Bisola is not the only person. You understand? So why I don't want to even show my face because they might send police after you, send somebody after you, send this thing after you. And there are so many journalists that come there that I see. That so it come there and they will come and collect money and go. You understand? I don't know why they are collecting money. I don't know that I, I used to see them. People, I'm doing attending to them as security. They will come and collect money and go. So that's how it is. Yeah. So I've confirmed the story that what she said is many things happen. Many things normally happen there. They discharge them from prayer line. They don't. Al- the real sick people say if you will not, they will not allow them to see him. The real sick people. If I'm lying, they should go. Anybody that have sick person to his house to go there and confirm the story. Maybe not the sickness or that that is not. But as more can eat. No, if you go there that you have. A spiritual problem. They would definitely. I don't know about spiritual. Let's talk about maybe cancer. No, Kano, Kano was there. Kano had hole in the heart. I've, I've been there when he said he hit Kano. That Kano denied. I think Kano. Yeah, the truth. I think Kano said he actually got medical healing. Kano's foundation is not sending people to TB Joshua's church. Kano, Onazi was also there. Sunny Manuel. Sunny name was originally Shewu. Is the one that changed him to Emmanuel. So he, he shaved with Sunny. Yeah, he's the one that changed him to Emmanuel. Sunny, one guy that played under 17 then. So Onazi was also there. But I think Onazi was too tough for him. They wanted him to stay in the church and all that. So he has prob- he had problem with them. Even Casey, many of them like that. Casey Limpopo. Casey Limpopo, many of them. They had many people have had, many people that nobody have left the church with. I know there are some things he does that look as if maybe he's. I'm not, but out of ten miracle, one we, one or two are the one that you see that are healed. Out of ten miracles, so forget all those things that they will tell you that um, um, it's, it's like that. If it's like that, you should go there and check, and you confirm it to me that it's like that. There's, I've not seen anybody that is genuinely healed. I know I have a cousin that I've went there. She's still there and. She's still doing this. She's, uh, she said she was healed. Fine. But I was there. But the real people were not being attended to. That's what happened. The real people are not attended to. There are so many things, so, but is that I didn't prepare. I want to show my face and then I will not talk. I will, I will still talk, but there are so many things that happened. I just wanted to, why I came is to confirm the story. Nobody, nobody begged me to come here. I was the one that chose to come here. To say the part of the story, I get to touch with uh, objective media to just talk my own part of the story. Not that anybody beg me. I just want to go. I discover that all what she said is true. She said, if TV Dosha is calling you, if you are cheating, I don't think you will wash your hands before you go outside. If you are eating, you leave that food. There are so many t- people live there. As issue of people not getting married there. I've not seen anybody getting married there among the workers. If you today, if you are a worker, not worker like Osha, even you are Osha, if you get married today, today, they will not even put you at Osha again, Seth. Let me start from disciples. There's no disciple getting married there. No. Is it because they don't want to marry? No. <laughs> Go and try it. Go and look. You see, in choir, they have three choirs. They have Anu, Bosse, and Anu, Bosse, and um, Anne. Those people are they are forty something years and they are not married. Yinka, Elizabeth. I'm measuring names. Members don't know their names. I'm telling you they are the names. Elizabeth, Moreniki, all of them, they are there, they are not married. And some of them are forty years old, fifty years old. There's one called Rasin that used to put on glass. That one is more than that one is sixty years old, it's not married. 
so you don't get married there i don't know i don't know the reason or maybe that's how god maybe that's how god wants it yeah, that is right. in that ministry but him is married if you tell him you want to go to school he will not be happy but his daughter going to going to school his daughter does finish her law degree i'm telling you what is going on there if you tell him now that you want to go to school, he will not be happy. But his own daughter is sending them to abroad to go to school. I think you so many people should think. Anyways, let's leave it at that for now until uh let's see if they spy you. If they don't spy you, you'll still come back. As I'm talking to no, as I'm talking to you now, the, there's nothing they didn't do to be seller. There are some people that will call you on the phone, that they will tell you that they are not a member of the church again, that they want to see you for the fete. Yeah, they, they are like that. Yeah. They are spying. They are spying. There are so many things that happen there. They will even comment on. Look, as you are posting this video now, some people will be commenting there. That don't mind him. You want to spot? Is there are as many of them are spy. I have done it before. I spy. Even go. I've gone to even uh, train to go and share the CD. There are so many things we do. I don't want to say it because I'm part of. I've been part of it. I don't want to say that you buy the finger that no finger fed me. I work for my money, except the rice that they give it, and they will show you on camera. <laughs> and that rice is not one bag of rice. It's just two paint plastic. But they seal it. It has its own bag. Not that everything is like that. If they give you ten thousand today, they will want to put it on camera. And some some are even pre-acted. Some are acting. It may, maybe there's something that happened. There are so many things that happen, and I discovered that so many of all these things that you people watch are acting. The, when there was a time on that, Sunny Manuel was helped. They say you should act. When he became a footballer, they brought him back to come and act when he was begging the man of God for help. He has already become a footballer, making money as he's under 17. But they brought him to come and beg, to come and act it. So when they were showing it on TV, they showed it as if somebody was begging. Begging, so he was there. And I was like, Will man of God be there? And people using him to add film like this. So many things happen. It's not the way if you attend the church, what you see there is the beauty, the prayer. If you don't have money, you look at go and watch the program on Sunday. You see people sitting on the phone putting on tight band. There's this band like a pass when you go to events. You know, any event that they'll put that was what they anybody you see sitting in front and not either they are foreigners or they are big men. You can never enter inside the church without pass. Hmm. You can never enter. If I, if, if I'm lying, but if you go there as a journalist, they will go off the journalist thing. They will not want to embarrass you. Embarrass you. They will say, okay, let's go so that it will not, yeah. so no, they will not allow you to enter. So if I go there now, TV Joshua will give me money. He will give you. He will give you money. It's like that. He used to give money. He used to. You you give like like up to how much? Do you have idea? No, it gives more than fifty k now. It will give you as a. Fifty k will not solve my problem now. TB Joshua, you don't need to spy me. I'm spying myself for you now. They say you pay journalists a day. <laughs> How much will they, will they give you? Can they give you five million? There is no disciple. Anybody should come and come. There is no disciple that have left there that they have make it. They should mention that person. Except the white people. I'm not including the people that come from abroad. There is no disciple that left there that have make it. I heard that most of them will go and start from ground zero again. So you have spent 10 years there, you will go and start from ground zero again. They will make sure they seize your passport. But I heard one story day before yesterday that is the girls that they were giving, some particular girls came that they want to collect their passport, they give it to them. But the men, they didn't give them their passport. Maybe you not know, you are following him to travel now. Definitely your passport will be in the church. They will not release it to you in the house of God. But if you are, maybe there are some particular girls. I don't know. I don't want to mention their name because they are married now. So that their husband will not start fighting them. That uh, is it true that they went there back and they gave them their passport. They didn't give any guy the passport. Let's leave it there for now. Um, that's just to confirm some of the things said by Bisola Johnson, who was earlier on this show, to make a uh, allegations uh, about the T.B. Joshua sexual harassment behaviors. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Clement or Cletus. Mr. Cletus. All right, thank you very much. So we'll continue this show later when we have more testimonies to bring you away. Thank you so much for watching.